4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. This might be a very common scenario at your home sometimes. Now when you do not want to eat bread, your mom might be telling that eat bread, it has a lot of carbohydrates. Now the next question that might bother you is, how do I know that it has carbohydrates? So what is the proof that the bread has carbohydrates? Okay, so that is how, what we will do in this section. Now you are given a food item, so let's say you are given a, a potatoes in a plate and you are asked does it contain carbohyd carbohydrates so what would you say whether it contains or not so you might say that you are not sure because just looking at the uh, food item just looking at the potatoes they don't really tell you anything that it is rich in carbohydrates or proteins or fats or minerals or vitamins so you are really not sure what it does it contain so that is where we will talk about some specific tests to prove if a food item contains carbohydrates or not. Now even before that, what exactly are carbohydrates? We know that they are nutrients, but when you look at them chemically, they are made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. So that is why they are called carbohydrates. Carbo is from carbon, hydro is from hydrogen and it also contains oxygen. So these are the three important constituents of all carbohydrates. Now some examples of carbohydrates are starch, lactose, glucose, fructose, cellulose. These are all examples of carbohydrates. Now in your higher classes you will learn that some carbohydrates are simple carbohydrates. So they have very simple structure. Their chemical structure is very simple. Whereas some carbohydrates are like uh, very complicated. So many small units of simple carbohydrates, they join together to form complex carbohydrates. So you will learn about all those in higher classes. So here you can just look at these examples. Now different carbohydrates, different types of carbohydrates are present in different products. For example, when you talk about starch, starch is present in high amount in food items like potatoes, maize, cereal grains basically. So they are very rich source of starch. You talk about fructose, they are present in fruits, that's, that's why the name fructose, fruct from fruits. So you talk about lactose that is present in milk. So milk also is a source of carbohydrates. So milk not only provides calcium, it also provides carbohydrates. Glucose, you can find it in honey. Cellulose, cellulose is found in plants, especially the green leafy vegetables which we obtain from plants. So these are all examples of different types of carbohydrates and all of them are found in uh, huge amounts in different types of food items. So now some examples of food items which contain carbohydrates are potatoes, banana, apple, corn, wheat, rice, sugar cane, glucose. So these are all examples of food items which contain a lot of carbohydrates or you can say which are rich source of carbohydrates. Now this is something which I am telling you that potato is a rich source of carbohydrate or wheat is a rich source of carbohydrate. But how do you prove that yes potato contains carbohydrates? So for that we perform a test called iodine test. So we make use of iodine and we perform an, an experiment which proves whether a food item contains carbohydrates or not. So what we need to do iodine taste, the test is, first of all we need to prepare an iodine solution. So how do we prepare that iodine solution? So for that we would need a few drops of iodine added to water and that's how we prepare the iodine solution. So as you can see here in this beaker you have some water, you add a few drops of 2 to 3 drops of iodine to it. Now as soon as you add this iodine solution what happens? You get an iodine solution that is iodine diluted with water. So it has maximum amount of water and only a few drops of iodine. The moment you add the iodine what happens? The color of the water changes to uh, purple in color, so light purple. So that's how you get this iodine solution. Now what are we going to do with this iodine solution? Take a slice of potato or whatever food item you want to check for carbohydrates. You take that food item, a sample of it in a plate. 
Now take some iodine solution, this solution which you have prepared. So put a few drops of this iodine solution on the potato. After a couple of seconds or after a couple of minutes, what do you see? You observe a change in color in this area. So that, that area where you had put the iodine solution, so there you observe a change in color. And this appearance of a blue-black color indicates the presence of starch. So if you get a blue-black color, then that means starch is present there. And if there is no blue-black color, that means starch is not present. So when you perform this iodine test with potato, what happens? Obviously, uh, a blue-black color appears because starch is present in potato. So we say that the iodine test is positive for potato. So wherever the iodine test is pos positive, that means starch is present. And if the iodine test is negative, that means starch is not present. So positive test would mean that this blue-black color will appear after adding iodine solution. If this color doesn't appear, that means the iodine test is negative and that means that starch is not present in that particular food item. So you see this is a very simple test. So you can just prepare iodine solution. Put that iodine solution in various food items. You want to try it out with all the vegetables and fruits. You can just do that and you will be able to see this change in color only in a few of them. And only those contain carbohydrates. Others don't. Now if you take up other substances like bread, rice, maize or potato. For all of them we see that the iodine test comes out to be positive. That is for all of them when you add a few drops of iodine you can see a bluish black color on the food item. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.